What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and we are here with the week one matchup of the Pokemon Premier League. It's the Eterna City Enders versus the Norwich Skitty, of course coached by the Don Fanatic. If you haven't already seen my matchup analysis, be sure to check that out. That of course will be in the playlist that I've created for the Pokemon Premier League. I actually did decide to go ahead and go with basically what I planned on. Um, Levania, of course, is packing a life orb here. I really wanted to be able to hit Slowbro hard, and at the same time deprive some of his other teammates like Heatran of their items via knockoff. Uh, I had the ability to calm mind up with Reuniclus and hit some things with Psyshock and Shadow Ball. Uh, I did see Slowbro as expected. I was actually pretty relieved to see what he brought to this battle. It was a little bit annoying to see um, Heatran and Heliolus because I felt like there were going to be some pretty annoying Volt switching going around there alongside entry hazards. But with Lee Vanny, after I hit Slowbro really hard, then I was hoping I could trade entry hazards. Uh, with Sticky Web up, I wouldn't have to worry about his Lee, uh, excuse me, his Hitmonchan or his Heliolus, Heliolus randomly being scarfed, and Weavile would be relegated to using Ice Shard to attack. Uh, I did want to bring Kabutops just to have on the back end uh, a rapid spin support for my Talonflame. And then I went with uh, Drain Punch, Low Punny, instead of going with uh, High Jump Kick, Low Punny, just because High Jump Kick's a little bit predictable, and I didn't want to give him any free switches. So I, I wanted to be able to pressure his team in that manner. Uh, we do have a Home Claws Kabutops. I actually came up with that set alongside Guy, taking advantage of not only Kabutops above average defense, but Sandstorm being up will give him a nice special defense boost as well. I really like the synergy of my team overall. Sandstorm doesn't hamper too many of my members, and as long as I'm able to play around my own Sandstorm, it's gonna hurt him a little bit more than it hurts me. Now at the beginning of the match, I wanted to start off with Talonflame, expecting him to start off with uh, his Fortress, but he actually starts off with Heliolisk, and thinking that, okay, it might be Scarfed, I'm just gonna switch right out into Tyranitar. I did go with the specially defensive bulky version, uh, has enough HP and special defense to live a focus blast from Heliolisk. While well, at the same time, I'm packing Expert Belt for the held item so that I can do one hit KOs with Earthquake and Flamethrower on Heatran, Fortress, and his Heliolisk. So uh, he ends up pulling a double switch as he switches into his Weavile there after the Volt Switch. I went into Kabutops immediately because Kabutops does threaten uh, Weavile to the extent that Weavile can't do much unless it has a low kick. And even low kick isn't a two hit KO on a defensive Kabu Tops, unless he's banded. So um, here though, seeing that he decided to go into Slowbro, I go on to Levani, expecting him to calm mind. Uh, even if he did go for Scald and burn me, of course I'm using Leaf Storm with Levani, so I wouldn't have been too bothered by that. Now the Sandstorm is really nice here, doing a little bit of chip damage to the Slowbro. And I'm almost able to one hit KO it with a Life Orb Leaf Storm. I was really, really proud of Lee Vanny for putting that amount of pressure onto Slowbro. Uh, here, I expected him to switch out. So, of course, I'm going to go for knockoff. I'm able to hit Fortress on the way in, which is amazing. I deprive it of its leftovers, which means I won't be able to get back up to that sturdy range. And I get one more hit. I'm going to go for my Sticky Web here. Uh, just because if he decides to spin, then he'll knock me out and he won't get any entry hazards up. But of course, then that'll make my Pokemon faster than some of his. Um, I needed to stay in with Lee Vanny to try to knock off on the Heatran. If Heatran was randomly scarfed, I really needed to know. And the only way he was going to outspeed my Lee Vanny is if he were scarfed. Unfortunately, I do allow him to get up a substitute in the exchange there. And I completely overestimate my defensive Kabutops ability to take... Uh, hits from Heatran, because he's definitely an offensive Heatran. If he were a more specially defensive or defensive build, Flash Cannon would have easily been a 3-hit KO, but I should have just broken the substitute and then gone for another Aqua Jet. Uh, then I could have easily put Heatran in range for maybe a Brave Bird or two. Now I decided to go out into Low Pony right here in order just to threaten out Heatran. I know if Lee Vanny outsped it, it's very likely that Low Pony can outspeed it even without Mega Evolving. Uh, he goes out into Slowbro, which is fine, this is a free Mega Evolution for me. I didn't see any reason to go for Fake Out. Uh, it's really obvious to use Fake Out with Lil Punny, so I didn't want to use it in this sense, because I could just get better damage with using Drain Punch on something. 
Now I do I am able to take out the Mega Slowbro without it basically doing anything, which is really nice. One of the big factors with his team is just the defensive synergy between Pokemon. Uh, so being able to take out one of his main walls, very very nice. Also not letting him do that Calm Mind goodness either. Now here I expected him to bring in Fortress and go for Rapid Spin. I wanted to make him choose. If he was going to try to set up entry hazards, I was going to make him lose Fortress. Uh, I did not want him getting up entry hazards on my side of the field, especially without Kabutops. I don't want to deal with it. So uh, I am able to take out Fortress in exchange for him getting rid of those entry hazards. Now, unfortunately, all my planning with Talonflame was for nothing. Uh, I went into this match, I wanted to bring the uh, correct berry in order to use natural gift to hit Heatran and gain the right boost from it. Unfortunately, I was quite dumb and I chose the wrong berry before the match. I think this berry that I chose is the Salak berry. I think I just chose the wrong one and it, that of course gives you a hidden, or I'm sorry, a natural gift of the grass variety. So here I, I was going to try to roost up in order to at least take out the Heatran with the plus two uh, Brave Bird, but he gets a little bit more damage on that secondary Dark Pulse and he's able to take me out. So I basically completely wasted my Talon Flame. I could have very easily switched out into Law Punny to take the possible Flash Cannon or the uh, Dark Pulse, and that would have been fine. Unfortunately, at this part of the battle here, Hitmonchan is his most important Pokemon. Hitmonchan and uh, Weavile take on my entire team by themselves, and of course he has the ability to switch between things using Heliolisk. So it really requires me to, to use my moves carefully. Here I was sure he was going to go into uh, his Weavile to trap me with Pursuit, but he actually went out into Heliolisk, um, and right here I'm thinking that it was really a 50-50. If he had gone into Weavile at this point, he probably would have been in a much better possession in the and as far as the momentum and position overall in the battle. But since he went on to hit Monchan, I figured even if he went into Weavile, I was trapped anyway. I might as well go for Psyshock to hit two out of his three Pokemon instead of just using um, the Shadow Ball to do not very effective damage, immunity, or mediocre damage to hit Monchan. So that worked out pretty nicely. I was afraid he'd trap me here, so I just stayed in and tried to go for Shadow Ball to get a little bit more damage on him. Uh, I am very happy that I have Fake Out on my Law Punny. I just decided to go straight for Drain Punch because he might have Inner Focus, which means that it wouldn't be a lot of, there, there wouldn't be any point to me going for Fake Out, of course, because he wouldn't flinch. Uh, and of course, we didn't see pressure on Weavile, so it is very likely that he had Inner Focus. Now right here, he really needs to hit uh, two Focus Blasts in order to win. He's able to land the first one on Law Punny. And Tyranitar coming in, since I was able to keep those Stealth Rocks off the field the entire match, Tyranitar has a fantastic chance to live this. He would need, I think, a max damage roll, or I actually believe he needed a crit in order to knock me out, because his Focus Blast only did, from a Choice Scarf list, only does about 80%. So I'm able to barely clinch that out, thanks to a couple of 50-50 predictions there at the end. Uh, that battle could have very easily gone either way but I'm very proud with the way my team performed, uh, especially choosing Pokemon Le like Lee Vanny to go up against Heatran and make a slow bro. You definitely don't get to see that matchup very often. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed week one. The Eternity City Enders do get to start off with the victory here. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great week, guys. Bye.